mini review of my uh, Klein circuit analyzer that just showed up today. It's RT390. It tests GFI arc faults. It tests a 30 milliamp uh, RFD, which is what what the uh, larger GFCIs break at. It'll put a simulated load on it and it'll test wiring. So let's fire it up and see how it goes. Put the nice screen. Okay, open hot because it's not plugged in. So let's say you want to test a receptacle here. See if it's wired up correctly. <clears throat> okay, let's plug it in. All right. Cool. Nothing that you can't get from a little plug-in jobber. But now it can load test. So I'll put a load on it. Oh, here it does it. So see, 110 volts if I was to draw 12 amps. 108 volts if I was to put a 108. I mean, a 15 amp load on it, or a 20 amp load would be 103. So, so if you were like, let's say you had a long uh, run of of um, receptacles, and you want to know which one was the first one in the series. I know my bedroom here is on the same same one, so I'll come over here and check this one. You can check it. Say okay. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I'll come through here and reset it. Okay, it's wired up correctly. It'll we'll load it. All right. So this particular one has a 3% drop. So it's a lot less than that other one. So I would guess that this would be the first one in the series. And then I could just go through the each one through the outlet here, each one and test it and see where the voltage is dropping and see which way the circuit is going. So if this was one where I want to put in a GFI, I'd know that this would be the one I'd want to put it on to protect all the downstreamers. Now my whole house is GFI protected and the arc fault protected. So let's see how it does on that. We'll, te we'll test out my arc fault breaker. Mm -hmm. And the circuit's off because I just heard the battery back up on the computer kick. Oh, now it's complaining. <clears throat> okay. So it tripped it and it told and tells me how long it took to trip, 102 milliseconds. So we'll go down and to the breaker panel. Into the basement. Yes, I have grandkids now. They'll come to visit. Okay. And bedroom, there it is. It's tripped. Now let's see why it tripped. Make sure it identifies as an arc fault. So what we'll do is we'll trip it, hold the button down. Should be two seconds. 1001, 1002. Yep, the breaker's saying that it was an arc fault. So sweet. So it looks like the testers works pretty good. Let's check out a ground, a ground fault. Okay. Ground fault. Load this one should be pretty sweet. It's a short circuit. Yep. It's for my new downstairs laundry. Now let's give it a, a ground fault. Okay. Tripped in 53 milliseconds and at 8 milliamp. Let's see what the breaker has to say. Okay, the breaker is tripped. Really, it should be an instantaneous on a ground fault. Yep. So the breaker says that was a ground fault. Sweet. So, anyway, that's my mini review on my. RT 390 the the ideal one that can look for bootleg grounds is like 200 bucks more so I wasn't willing to spend 350 bucks this one was 149 at Home Depot about 130 something after my veterans discount so it'll do a uh, most of what I need it 
we're certainly going to want to 